Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today we're taking a look at a stock that one top analyst has a 100% success rate on. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. One of the great things about Tip Ranks is they help you know who to trust on Wall Street, and that all began with their unique analyst rating system. So I like to spend a lot of time on the top analyst section of Tip Ranks and see what those highest ranked guys are up to. And that's where this caught my eye. We have a top ranked analyst who has a 100% success rating on a tech stock. So we're gonna take a deeper dive into this company and how the other analysts weigh in as well. So let's dive right in. From experts, we're headed over to top analysts where we'll find our ranked list here. We're going to be looking at Quinn Bolton from Needham, who covers the technology sector. Now, he has a 67% success rate over this past year with an average return of 35%. But what really caught my eye was this 100% success rating on Excellus Technologies. Now, he has made 18 total ratings on the stock over the last few years. And we can see here he's had an average return per rating of 66%. So let's take a closer look at Excellus Technologies. With a market cap of just over $4 billion, they trade under the ticker ACLS, currently priced at $126 per share. Now the company has seen phenomenal growth in the past years, especially the past six months where they're up over 126%. Excellus Technologies is in the semiconductor industry in that they design, manufacture, and service ion implantation and other processing equipment that is used in the fabrication of semiconductor chips. The company has been providing innovative, high productivity solutions for the semiconductor industry for over 40 years. They're dedicated to developing enabling process applications through design, manufacture, and complete life cycle support of those ion implantation systems. And that is one of the most critical and enabling steps in the IC manufacturing process. With three technologies on one powerful platform, their suite of ion implanters delivers the highest level of precision, purity, and productivity with the lowest cost of ownership. With electric vehicle adoption growing in recent years, they say that the implant total addressable market has doubled in just the last few years and that they are well positioned to benefit. Taking a look at the company's earnings history, we can see a steady pattern of growth over the last couple of years, as the same can be said about their revenue as well. Back in 2021, they had earnings per share of 43 cents, and they're now been reporting over $1.71. That next earnings report is coming up on May 3rd, where analysts will be expecting earnings per share of $1.23. There has been a recent uptick in hedge funds holding the stock as well. In the last quarter, hedge funds increased their holdings by over 525,000 shares. Now that includes some that have added to their positions or some that have started brand new. We have some sizable amounts too, over 20 million and one at nearly 90 million. Now with a stock that has seen such huge growth over the past couple of years, it's easy to think that that big run is almost over. And that could be true, but Quinn Bolton did rate the stock most recently 15 days ago, and he believes there's still some room for upside. And he's not the only one. Overall, there are six analyst ratings, all coming in as a buy. The average price target comes in at $145, which would be an upside potential of 15%. Taking a look at the ratings here, we do have Quinn's rating with his price target of 140, which would be an upside of 10%. And the others range from about the same to a high of 22%. So we certainly still have some bullish outlooks there, and I'm sure we'll see some price targets reiterated following their earnings report in early May, where we'll also hopefully get some future outlook as well. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Excellus Technologies still has room to grow, or is it time for the stock to cool off a little bit? I always appreciate hearing from you guys, so let me know your thoughts. Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just for information and entertainment purposes. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence that fits your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you back here next time.